Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? My name is Kent, the channel is Yas San Diego. And tonight is the first night I'm actually doing a video that was a challenge video based, by, based on a challenge that someone has made me to do this video. So I'm, I'm actually getting paid one challenge token for making this video tonight because the challenge was made by a, a viewer of the YouTube channel. Uh, Cornbread111 challenged me to come here tonight and make this YouTube video and I'm being paid one CHL token for that, uh, for the completion of this challenge. So I'm being paid for this video. And as I said last night, from here forward, I will only do videos if someone makes me a challenge. And it's very easy to do that. You just need to download the application. It's in Google Play and the Apple Store. Uh, it's, uh, it's the Challenge DAP in Google Play and it is challenge and fun in the, uh, in the Apple uh, App Store. So you, you download that, you get 20 free tokens. And of course, I'm doing this tonight for one token, so uh, you get 20 times with me doing a video if you wanna use all 20 of your tokens for me to make a video. So from here on out, I will only do videos if I'm challenged. I believe I've got videos for the next couple nights lined up already. I was looking at tonight's challenges and there's, uh, I think, uh, up to the two, second or third. But that's okay. If you'd like to still make me a challenge, um, I'd be happy to do more than one challenge tonight. So I could do multiple challenges. This happens to be Cornbread 111's challenge uh, video that I'm doing tonight. He asked me to do a five minute video, so this will be at least a five minute video. And he asked me to be at this location, which I am. I registered on the blockchain uh, where I'm at, and of course it received my information, and I am going to uh, do at least five minutes, so I will, get the, I will complete the challenge. That's how challenge works. Uh, a couple things uh, we are finding out about the challenge application. Um, the first thing is if you use a precise address, it works a little bit better than if you just use a street intersection. I've been talking about State Street and Carlsbad Village Drive. We find that uh, it doesn't pick that up quite as well as it picks up an actual physical location. <clears throat> and we tonight, we, we, uh, we made another challenge with someone and we did it in front of this uh, restaurant. The name of the restaurant is Vegilucci's. Uh, so I'll turn around here so you can take a look at it. So if you you can, and I don't know what the physical address for Vigilucci's is, but if you use that, or even like this uh, Jaden uh, Press Line Salon and Spa, if you use a physical address of a, of a, of a, of a uh, business here along the street, it actually works a little bit better for me to, uh, right there's Vigilucci's if you want to see that behind me. So if you use that physical address, you can look it up in the Google Maps, it actually uh, picks it up much easier than if I just use a cross uh, street. So rather than use a pinpoint on a map, it works a little bit better if we actually use like a business address. Uh, Barrel Republic would be another good one. Barrel Republic, which is right behind me. You use that address and then I can stand right in front of Barrel Republic and it picks it up immediately. So that's a little easier way to do it. The second thing is uh, tonight's challenge started at 8.13 p.m. And it ends tomorrow night, actually, at, uh, I think, 7.59 or something like that. So it gives me all, almost 24 hours to make the video. But the way it's working is you have to be here at the time that the video starts, at the time that the challenge starts. So um, tonight I actually didn't make it because I missed the start because the start was, I think, uh, 8, 8.13 um, as a Pacific Coast time, and I was, I was down here much later than that because I thought I had that window of time to make the video, but I actually have to start the video right at the time the challenge starts. So I can make it anywhere. I have to start it during that time. So that's the way it's gonna work. You have to start when the start time is, um, and you have to get it completed before the end time, but you have to start the start time. So even though he, he gave me like 24 hours to do the video, I have to start the video before when the start time starts. I hope that's not too confusing but that's the way it's working out. We may, we may be able to tweak a little bit of that, but right now that's the way it's working. So if you make me a challenge, make the challenge past about, let's say about 11 or 12 o'clock at night, uh, because I usually, that's when I usually start thinking about making this video. <clears throat> it, it, and that works out a little bit better for me. You can, you can run it a little bit later, but you know, the start time has to be about 11 or 12. So, um, like I said, tonight's Cornbread 111's uh, video Tomorrow night, some have some other videos, and I think I have videos up until the 3rd of November. But anyway, make me a challenge. Uh, I'll continue to make these videos. Uh, put whatever you want me to do in the in the in the in the in the video challenge. Uh, listen to a train, I guess. Whatever you want me to do. 
Uh, this one's coming by pretty quickly. There we go. Can't miss out on the train. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about the, um, the CD, or what is it, uh, the Chinese, um, the CCID, I believe, which is their commerce uh, department in China, ranks the blockchains. And of course, they've done, the, they do this monthly. And of course, they just come out, I think, yesterday with another monthly ranking of blockchains, of which EOS is still number one. I think they've always been number one in, this, in the China rankings of the blockchain. Of course, we know the news earlier, I think last a few days ago, was that China is embracing blockchain. Their president is uh, 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 saying that they're going to be um, very uh, pro-blockchain, involved with blockchain. And of course, when you have a country of 1.3 billion people and their, their leader tells uh, the people in the, in the country that we're going to uh, embrace this technology, you can bet there's going to be a lot of people working on it. So uh, when they rank EOS as the number one blockchain in their rankings for their, uh, by their, uh, their commerce, uh, uh, the CCID, I think is how, what they refer to it as, uh, uh, ranking for commerce, the number one is EOS, EOS. Uh, you know, they're looking at certain specific things. They're probably looking at, at, at scalability and speed. And that's probably why they, they, they like EOS. Because EOS is number one, I think Bitcoin's num number 11, Ethereum's number three, also Steam and BitShares is in there pretty high. So the scalability of the blockchain is very important uh, to these Department of Commerce with the, China, uh, uh, with the Chinese gover government. So, uh, you know, this is just another reason why, why EOS is uh, such a, a viable blockchain. Uh, the fact that China is uh, embracing blockchain technology and the fact that China finds EOS uh, the number one blockchain in the world. And uh, very, very important and, and very, what would you say, um, very pro EOS as far as that's concerned, as far as what the EOS blockchain does and how it, how it's, how it operates. So you can you can bet if China is going to do something in the blockchain space, it's going to be something more on the lines of EOS than probably Bitcoin or Ethereum. Probably more of something where uh, there isn't so much mining involved because mining definitely slows down the process. And, and keeps the blocks from being built as quickly. So I think that's a very, very good update for the ES blockchain. So as I say tonight, this is a challenge I've completed. I made one challenge token for making this video. A challenge token isn't worth a whole lot right now, but that's okay because in the future it'll be worth a lot more. And of course I make something for this video uh, and somebody got to see me do something that they wanted me to do. So you've got to influence somebody's behavior. You have to influence my behavior tonight by making me make this video. So I couldn't do not make this video and still complete the challenge. So that's how challenge works. So from now on, if you see me make a video, you'll know I'll be making it to complete a challenge because that's the way I'm gonna start doing these videos from here on out. Please make me a challenge. And like I said, it's very easy to do. You can watch last night's video. I give a little more information on it. Uh, it's in the Google Play Store. It's in the Apple App Store. Um, once you get on there, it's very simple to do. Uh, just give me a physical location here. Uh, you can look on Google Maps somewhere here in Carlsbad. State Street's a good place to pick out a specific location. Um, there's, you know, along the coast, as long as there's a little bit of light here that I can make a video. Uh, and then just issue me a, a challenge, and I'd be happy to do it. Just give me a time, give me a date, and I'll get the rest done for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you watching.